Everybody, welcome to the Worship Tone Lab. We have gotten a lot of questions recently about the gear we're using and the signal flow of our pedal boards and different things like that. So we thought it'd be really helpful if we just made a video of my board and just kind of walked through how I use it week in and week out. So here we go. So the first thing I have in my chain is my volume pedal. I'm a volume pedal guy. I just like them. I think they're useful and helpful. Um, I have it first. A lot of people like to put it after their drives to have that drive in the swell. And I just don't care too much about that. So I have it first. My muscle memory is to put my foot there for the volume. Um, so this is the, the JHS modded VP Junior. Uh, which I like, it kind of gets rid of some of that tone suck that the, just the stock ones have. Uh, so to me, it's worth the money. Um, and then out of the tuner out, go into the tuner, nothing special there. I go into the diamond compressor from there, and then into my pog from there, through my drive, so into the sick as, into the ruby red, into this Zen drive clone, and then it goes up to the timeline and out of the big sky. So. Uh, we'll break this down just a little bit here. Uh, so I have the, the pog in front of the drives so that when it's on and I'm using drives, the, the drive signal has the pog tone on it. Um, so that's why I have it right there, right after the compressor. So uh, the compressor, this is what my just dry, nothing but the amp sounds like right here. So then adding the compressor sounds like this. Uh, just it, it just adds some beef and some clarity to my tone, uh, which I, I just really like. So I have the compressor on basically all the time. Rare moments do I turn it off. Um, so here's my normal tone. And then with the pog, it sounds like this. Let's give you a better, a little bit more here. So just a, it's an octave pedal, and it's useful for a lot of different things. Um, but mostly for like certain lead stuff and swells especially. It sounds amazing with swells. Uh, so then moving through to the sick as. This is a, a based on a Klon pedal, but with some tweaks that are really awesome. Uh, so it just sounds like this. Uh, really great overdrive. Uh, then down to the Ruby Red, I actually, uh, we did a, a pedal demo on this, so if you want more information on that, you can go check that out in a different video. But I pretty much have this on all the time. So I have the Ruby Red, just the pedal side on, and my compressor almost all the time. So this is the tone. Uh, and it, it doesn't do too much. It just adds a little bit more punch uh, and clarity, I think. So I almost use it more as an EQ pedal than an overdrive. And uh, it works out really well. And then there's the boost on it, which can go from like light to extreme. So check out that video, it's fun. Uh, then we go to the Zen Drive clone, and it's awesome. It's a great pedal. Um, honestly, I use that mostly when we're in the studio as just a, a little bit more meat if I need it or just for a different drive sound. Uh, on a typical Sunday morning or wherever I'm playing, uh, these are my go-tos and I can do quite a bit with them because I, I run my amp at uh, pretty much breaking up. So I don't need too much drive unless I'm really going for it. So then out of that is the Timeline, which is a delay pedal. Um, it's a very popular pedal, so there's nothing too crazy with it. Um, I use a tape delay most of the time and then a digital delay sometimes. Um, and then there's so many options on there that I'll use here and there, but those are basically what I use. So. So that's just a dotted eighth tape delay. Um, and it, it, the timeline sounds so good if you are looking to get a solid delay. Uh, and then the big sky here, 
I, it is capable of so much. Both of those pedals are capable of so much, but um, I run it pretty basic. So I have, uh, I just have one page and I have different settings on each of these buttons for different moments uh, in a service or in a set. And so the first one is a short decay reverb. Um, and I, I switch mostly between a plate and a hall reverb. Uh, so that, that is a plate reverb. And then this is kind of like my middle, which makes sense because it's in the middle for me. Uh, and it's just, it's, the decay is quite a bit higher. It's really, really nice. And then this one is a lot of decay. So I use this for swells and different things. Here's with the pog. So that's the, the basic gist of all of that. Uh, I mean, I go a lot more in depth in a lot of ways, but this is my generic setup if I'm not doing anything special. Um, one other thing that I haven't mentioned yet is this pedal right here, it's an Analog Endeavors uh, Strymon switcher. And so I, I'm not into the whole like massive switcher boards that are turning overdrive and all that stuff off. I just don't wanna deal with all the programming of it. And so this is the, the best, small, easy, affordable solution. Um, and so right now I just have it set up, you can see here, to bank through on my timeline only. So uh, these two buttons bank up and down, and then this button selects that. And if I click it again, it goes to the B side of the timeline. Um, I can and have it wired so that the timeline can be a MIDI controller for the big sky, and it can control both of them. Uh, but I just have not found a time where I need to do that yet. I don't program reverbs that deeply for uh, leading at the church. It just is impractical. Uh, maybe if I was on tour and we were doing the same set every night, I would do that and it'd be awesome. But it just is impractical and not a good use of my time. Thanks for checking out this video today. It was a quick run through, so if you have any questions about these pedals or how I use these pedals, uh, I'm happy to answer them for you. Also, um, if you have more in-depth questions about just the pedal in general, we'd be happy to do some more gear reviews like what we did with the Ruby Red a while back. Um, and just help you out with that. So uh, please hit us up. We're happy to answer your questions. And if you're not subscribing, you should subscribe. We're gonna try to get as much good content out as we can uh, in a quick manner. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you later.